Rapper Snoop Dogg made sick new threat towards cops that just backfired on him big time. Since the presidential inauguration, I don't think I have written so many articles based on incitement alone. Incitement is a very dangerous tool that leftist, Muslims and other terrorist and criminals use to cowardly use the weak-minded people to carry out their attack. In Israel, Palestinian radical Islamists use incitement to murder Israelis. They teach young children and brainwash their minds to hate the Jewish people as well as Israelis and call jihad to rage war against the state of Israel. In this past year, what scares me, I am seeing the same behavior in America, a country I grew up in and was taught right from wrong, how is this happening in the major superpower in the world? Now Snoopy has been in hot water about this before when he made a video that incites harming the President of the United States, Donald Trump. As a public figure, shouldn't there be some sort of responsibility be taken, because think of how many people and what kind of people this goes out to? Incitement is not free speech, I will say this again, incitement is not free speech, especially when it involves acts of violence. Here is the video from Snoop Dogg. Snoop Dogg promotes violence against police. The musician Snoop Dogg recently posted to Instagram, promoting violence against police officers. The message was then echoed by many of his followers. In the July 17 post, Snoop Dogg posted a video of a McDonald's security guard being attacked. In the blurry video, the security guard's uniform makes him appear to be a police officer and Snoop was apparently unfamiliar with the backstory on the incident. Along with posting the video, Snoop said, Tables turned one point for us. F. T. P. It's about that time. F. T. P. stands for F. The police. The incident depicted in the video happened early in the morning on July 5 when a McDonald's security guard saw two homeless men sleeping at tables in the 24 hours McDonald's at 2nd and Colorado. They were taking up space it's a private property so the security guard was asking them to buy some food or they needed to leave, a Santa Monica PD lieutenant told Fox 11. The men reacted by attacking the security guard. A bystander tried to grab one of the men to stop him from swinging at the guard, and the guard brought out his pepper spray. The spray appeared to have little effect, as the brawl continued out the front doors, where another bystander hit the attacker with a chair. As the fight went on, the men punched the security guard and put him in a headlock, and at one point they even took his baton. At some point the security guard's baton is taken and it's used against him, Lieutenant Sol Rodriguez, Santa Monica Police Department, told Fox 11. At that point people tried to intervene and assist the security guard. The fight went on until police arrived just as the security guard was forcing the men outside. Officers were able to catch one suspect and take him into custody for assault with a deadly weapon. The security guard sustained cuts and bruises and refused medical attention. The clip from the video posted by Snoop Dogg shows the most violent part of the video as the guard was getting repeatedly punched in the head. One army vet and former cop had something to say to Snoop. Via Biz Pack Review Former NIP lieutenant and army veteran, Darren Porcher, condemned Snoop Dogg's choice to post the video and the message asking if different circumstances would have made him reconsider. It's interesting to see what Snoop Dogg's reaction would be had his daughter been a patron in that same McDonald's, Porcher said on Fox and Friends Wednesday. He's cheering for people that have assaulted police officers. 
Porcher noted that as police officers are our first line of defense, it is important for communities to stand behind them. He admitted that the video shared by Snoop bothered him tremendously. Fox News host Brian Kilm wondered if the rapper was trying to re-establish his street cred after the controversy surrounding the release of the video for his song, Lavender. Snoop came under heavy fire for the video that showed him shooting a clown dressed as Donald Trump with a gun. The firestorm over the image elicited a response from the president himself. Porcher suggested the California rapper should have used the McDonald's video as a teachable moment so people could coalesce behind law enforcement. Apparently he failed at that, Porcher noted. He does have a disenfranchised population that backs him, he concluded, but this could be a watershed moment for the hip-hop community to have a superstar such as Snoop Dogg represent law enforcement in a positive way. Kilm agreed that the singer whom he said could not be a nicer guy, failed to use the incident to effect positive change. He does a lot of positive things but unfortunately those two decisions, I think, undoes a lot of it, he said. What will it take for people especially irresponsible celebrities to be held accountable for triggering the wrong kind of people to commit terrible crimes? If this keeps up as you see in the article below more people will be harmed. Instead of this witch hunt, lawmakers need to make this clear of what incitement is, this way celebrities like Snoop Dogg will stop using their agenda to spread hatred towards police. They need to think about the safety of our men and women who go out risking their lives in protecting the citizens of the United States. They need to think about the safety of the President of the United States so he can focus his time and effort to make America great again.